Welcome homesteaders. Today we're going to talk about whether or not you actually need supplemental heat in your chicken coops in the dead of winter. You're going to be surprised by the answer. We're also going to talk about several strategies on how to keep your chickens warm. Bye girls. So as you know, we've got this unique coop setup where we've got our coop inside of our stable. We've got a little hole cut in the side of the metal siding of the stable and they can go outside into an outdoor chicken run. They have also got a chicken run in here. We did that to help protect the coop and protect the chickens a little bit more from the elements and the weather. So I'm going to answer the question right away and the answer is no. They do not need supplemental heat at all in the winter time. Chickens don't need it, no matter what your climate is. We're in zone 9B, doesn't get that cold here. It was 20 the other day at night. Um, chickens can handle that with no problem, especially if they're inside of a coop. So we're gonna talk about a couple of reasons why chickens do not need supplemental heat at all. One of those is they're a bird and they create downy feathers underneath their other feathers and those trap air underneath their coat. Well, if you see birds in the wintertime, including chickens, they'll kind of puff themselves up and they'll trap air underneath those feathers and inside those downy feathers. That air heats up with their body temperature, their body heat, and keeps them warm. You see all birds doing this. If you live in the north, you see birds living outside in the wintertime. They're all, they all seem a little bit huskier, chunkier, fatter. And that's because they are puffing up their feathers to trap warm air under there. And that helps them them to brave the elements and they're all outside so no need to worry about your chickens now there's one caveat to that is if you live in an extremely cold place and you've got less than four birds or four four birds or less those chickens will congregate together in the nighttime and they do that to share body heat if you've got less than four birds I would recommend some supplemental heat for your coop also, if you have a breed that is not acclimated or not for your area, then you really need to provide supplemental heat for them inside the coop. Now, those you could have a tropical type chicken, a native type of chicken, as my wife calls them, she's from the Philippines, native style chicken, and those birds will not do well in the cold in the north. But for me, I've got Rhode Island Reds and Barred Rocks, and both of those birds do really well in the heat, or in Texas, and really well in the cold. I had them in Michigan before. Now, another way to keep your chickens warm in the wintertime is to feed them. I know that sounds weird, but chickens pig out in the winter time. And if chickens are eating, that's a good thing because the metabolic process or metabolizing the food, breaking the food down in your body, creates heat. So the more they're eating, the warmer they're gonna be. So a great way to keep them warm at night is to give them a snack. We like to give them these Grub Terra soldier fly larva, which they go absolutely nuts for. They're actually flying up and trying to peck the bag right now. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to move them away. But that metabolic process is gonna be going on at night. If they have a snack at night, it's gonna uh, generate more heat for them when it's the coldest part of the day. <laughs> what are you trying? I'm trying to get the bag. Look at this. They go nuts. They go nuts for these. They go nuts for these. Look at them. They're trying to peck the bag. They know what these are. They know what these are. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, relax. Here. Here, here, here. I better get out of here with this bag because they will finish those in about 15 seconds and they will start pecking at this bag again. So give them a treat at nighttime. Now, along with what breed you pick for your area, you need to understand that chickens will acclimate themselves to the environment that they're in. They have no problem doing that, just like a bird out uh, in the wild. They will acclimate. So if you're always giving them extra heat and then say your uh, power goes out and you're not able to provide that extra heat for them, there could be a good chance that they would die in that instance if it got too cold because they're used to the heat. So if they're used to that natural setting that you put them in, no extras, then you have a better chance of your birds just being uh, fine throughout any winter situation that 
Mother Nature throws at them. So the main strategy to keep your chickens warm is ventilation. I know, I know, it sounds counterintuitive, right? You want ventilation, you don't want drafts. So ventilation is essentially up high in a coop. This window is up pretty high in our coop and we've got cross ventilation through to the other side. You can probably see the light shining through right there. That exchanges the air in the coop and keeps things from getting too moist. The moisture is the thing that is the enemy of your chicken in terms of whether they get too cold or not. Everybody perspires, including chickens. We breathe in and breathe out and out of our mouths comes moist air. We also, well, the chickens are peeing inside of the coop and that is also creating moisture. So we need that air, that moist air inside of the coop to be exchanged. Now a draft is something you don't want. A drafty coop is a coop that has a lot of spaces down low for air to get into the coop. And that is not doing a good job of getting out that warm, moist heat, which rises, but it keeps that cold air in there in the bottom and traps that moist heat at the top, not good for the chickens. Make sure your ventilation is at the top and there's no drafts below. What are you doing? Hmm? Is that nice? Are you content with that? So we keep our watering system out of our coop, and here's why. Chickens are messy. They will throw stuff everywhere. They throw their food everywhere, they throw their bedding everywhere, and when they're drinking, they're getting water everywhere. We have the cup version of the waterers. Some people have the little nozzle that you uh, that they pack on to get water and those drip water everywhere and these these waters they can throw water everywhere or these little watering cups so that adds to the moisture inside the coop not a good thing you want to keep it outside of your coop if you can if you have a heater or something to keep it outside or you just change your water every day i would do that instead of keeping that moisture trapped inside the coop at night. Now another strategy is to keep a good amount of bedding in your coop and make sure that bedding is always dry. So you wanna look for excessive moisture in the bedding, but during the day, those chickens could be bedding down in the inside of the coop instead of up on the roosting bars. Chickens do that. At night, of course, they're up on the roosting bars, but during the day, they will bed down. Some will take a dirt bath outside here and we've got some hay outside but keeping good dry bedding on the inside will help insulate the bottom of the floor. And during the daytime, if they wanna get in there and warm up a little bit, they can. She was begging to be on camera. Barn kitty, right barn kitty? So if you want some of these Grubterra soldier fly larvae, head to the description below and click on our affiliate link. We do work with the company and we get a small commission from that. We also have a discount code for you. So that is also in the description below. Chickens love these. These are the highest calcium snack that you can find on the market for chickens that's natural. And we talked about in our last video up here, about why calcium is so important for your chickens and not just for egg production. So in summary, your chickens do not need supplemental heat. And supplemental heat can lead to fire. So if you're putting a uh, heat bulb in your coop, I know a lot of instances where coops have burnt down, all the chickens are killed, barns have been burnt down, houses have been burnt down, just for added heat for animals. They don't need it. So remember, if you provide good bedding, a dry environment, a well-ventilated environment, but not drafty, and you provide the proper amount of food and some extra food and proper amount of hydration for your chickens, they're gonna be completely fine. No need for added extra heat in the wintertime. Now I want you to go check out this video right here, which shows you how we built this chicken coop. Have a great day, we love you. See you on the next video, bye.